The explosive finale of Starship Flight 8 wasn't a setback. It was a stepping stone. For SpaceX, each failure spurs innovation and provides them with more valuable data for future upgrades. Now, among the many game-changing upgrades, one stands out above the rest. Raptor 4, an engine that's not just more powerful, but also pushes the very limits of human spaceflight. So, what makes Raptor 4 a true breakthrough? How does it compare to its predecessors and other rocket engines on the market? Join us on today's episode of TechMap as we break down the cutting-edge advancements of Raptor 4 and uncover the next evolution in rocket propulsion. Buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride. Once again, SpaceX is grappling with issues in its cutting-edge Raptor engines. During the latest Starship test flight, Flight 8, the second-generation Block 2 hardware lost four of its six Raptor engines about eight minutes after liftoff. With nearly two-thirds of its power suddenly cut, the spacecraft spiraled out of control before SpaceX lost communication. Moments later, Starship disintegrated over the Bahamas. At first glance, this might seem like yet another failure for SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. But in reality, it's just another step forward. As the company itself puts it, with a test like this, success comes from what we learn. And today's flight will help us improve Starship's reliability. Every bit of data collected helps SpaceX refine its design, correct technical flaws, and push Starship closer to full operational capability. And when it comes to challenges, the Raptor engine has always been one of the toughest hurdles. Why? Because it's one of the most advanced rocket engines ever built. Unlike traditional engines, Raptor uses a full-flow staged combustion cycle, a highly efficient but incredibly complex system. It operates under extreme pressures and temperatures, pushing the limits of material science. Even minor instabilities can trigger catastrophic failures, from combustion instability to overheating. Another unique challenge? Raptor burns methane and oxygen, an ideal combination for deep space travel and potential refueling on Mars. But managing these fuels under high pressure conditions introduces even more engineering difficulties. On top of that, achieving high reliability and reusability is crucial for Starship's long-term success. Yet transient issues like pressure fluctuations or valve misalignments have led to past failures. We've already seen multiple test flights where Raptors failed mid-mission, causing Starship to lose control and explode. Flight 7, for instance, ended in self-destruct due to harmonic vibrations ruptured propellant lines in a separate incident. Yet despite these setbacks, SpaceX isn't slowing down. In fact, each failure brings them closer to perfecting the next generation of Raptor engines. To reach Mars, SpaceX needs engines that are not only powerful, but also reliable. That's why the Raptor continues to evolve with every test flight. Right now, SpaceX has developed four versions of the Raptor engine, Raptor 1, 2, 3, and now Raptor 4. But Raptor 4? That's the one getting all the attention, and for good reason. Although SpaceX hasn't officially unveiled it yet, Elon Musk has been dropping major hints about what's coming. And if his vision becomes reality, this engine could completely redefine rocket technology. On April 7th, during a speech to the entire SpaceX team, Musk made a bold statement. And I think ultimately we'll probably, the booster engines, we'll, we'll aim to get the booster engines over 330 tons of thrust, which would mean 10,000 tons of total thrust at liftoff. This ambitious declaration hints at SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and improvement in engine performance. For context, the current thrust of the Raptor 3 engine, as announced by SpaceX, is 280 tons of thrust. Adjustments could potentially increase Raptor 3's thrust to 300 tons of thrust, as suggested by Musk in October. You should forget or should not forget, in August, he hinted at an even stronger version, saying, thrust will exceed 300 tons with Raptor 3.X. So if SpaceX is now eyeing 330 tons of thrust, that's a whole new ballgame. It would require a brand new engine variant. 
the speculation around Raptor 4 gained momentum when a discussion on X drew comparisons between its emergence and the development of Starship 3. Based on Musk's 10,000-ton booster thrust estimate, people calculated that Raptor 4 could produce around 303 tons of thrust. But Musk himself wasn't satisfied with that estimate, commenting, hopefully, higher thrust. The long-term goal is 330 tons of thrust. Even with a projected thrust of 303 tons of thrust, the Raptor 4 engine's power is nearly equivalent to half the thrust of the legendary F1 engine on the Saturn V. Musk's aim for this new Raptor variant to reach up to 330 tons of thrust highlights its formidable potential. However, bear in mind that Musk's ultimate goal for the booster isn't 330 tons of thrust, but more than 330 tons, as he stated in his April presentation. So, what will Raptor 4 look like? Given the pattern of improvements from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, then Raptor 3, we can expect Raptor 4 to be even more compact and efficient. SpaceX hasn't released any images yet, but if past trends are any indication, the new engine will likely prioritize size optimization. Considering that Raptor version 1 has a mass of 2,000 kilograms and version 2 has 1,600 kilograms, it is plausible that Raptor version 4 will have an approximate mass of 1,500 kilograms. Coupled with a projected thrust of 303 tons of thrust and an estimated mass of 1,500 kilograms, the thrust to weight ratio of Raptor 4 would be 202. If a thrust of 330 tons of thrust is achieved with a similar mass, the thrust to weight would be 220. The thrust to weight ratio is a critical metric for rocket engines, reflecting their efficiency and power. A higher thrust to weight indicates a more capable engine that can accelerate the rocket faster and achieve greater altitudes. In this context, Raptor 4's thrust to weight, whether 202 or 220, surpasses the thrust to weight of 180 for the Merlin 1D engine, placing it at the forefront of rocket engine performance. When compared to other rocket engines, the Space Shuttle's RS-25 engine has the lowest thrust to weight at 73 to 1, followed by the RD-180 at 78 to 11, the BE-4 at approximately 80 to 1, though precise data for the BE-4 is not readily available the F1 at 94 to 1, and the Raptor 2 leading with an impressive ratio of 107 to 1. First Raptor 4 is expected to exceed all of these engines in terms of thrust to weight. Elon Musk's revelations indicate that Raptor 4 represents a significant leap forward in engine technology. This achievement underscores SpaceX's commitment to innovation while balancing resource constraints. Whether Raptor 4 will be SpaceX's final engine iteration remains uncertain. With the limitless potential of Starship and fewer constraints, SpaceX has the opportunity to continue exploring the boundaries of rocket physics. Each advancement brings them closer to optimizing thrust and efficiency, further propelling humanity's journey into space. In summary, the Raptor 4 engine promises to be a more powerful and efficient engine compared to its predecessors with target thrust levels exceeding 330 tons of force and impressive thrust-to-weight ratios. This highlights SpaceX's continuous innovation and development in the field of rocket engine technology. So, what about you? Did Raptor 4's features blow your socks off? Or is it just me? If you're feeling the Raptor love, drop a Raptor 4 in the comment section below. Don't leave me hanging, folks. Raptor has come a long way, evolving through multiple iterations to reach the powerful fourth-generation engine we see today. It all started with Raptor 1, the foundational prototype developed between 2016 and 2021. This version introduced a groundbreaking full-flow staged combustion cycle, an engineering feat that had never been used in an operational rocket engine before. While this design made Raptor 1 significantly more efficient than traditional engines, it also came with challenges. Combustion instability, overheating, and complex manufacturing processes made early development difficult. Despite these hurdles, 
SpaceX successfully tested Raptor 1 on Starhopper in 2019, proving vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. However, power output was limited, 185 metric tons at sea level and 200 in a vacuum, making it clear that improvements were necessary. Enter Raptor 2, first revealed in early 2017 and officially introduced in 2022. This version was all about optimization. Thrust increased by 24%, reaching 230 metric tons at sea level, while engine weight dropped to 1,630 kilograms, a 22% reduction. SpaceX also incorporated 3D printing and automation, cutting production time and costs dramatically. As a result, engine production scaled up, with over 569 Raptors built by 2024. Chamber pressure was also increased to 300 bar, further boosting efficiency. Raptor 2 became the backbone of Starship's orbital test flights and remains SpaceX's primary engine today. But SpaceX didn't stop there. In August 2024, the company unveiled Raptor 3, a next-generation engine designed to push boundaries even further. With a staggering 280 metric tons of thrust at sea level, Raptor 3 marked a significant leap forward. True to SpaceX's the best part is no part philosophy, this version was drastically simplified. External heat shields were eliminated through advanced material upgrades, making the engine more reusable. At just 1,525 kilograms, it's lighter than its predecessor, with a total installed weight, including vehicle side commodities and hardware, of 1,720 kilograms. Most impressively, Raptor 3 reached a record-breaking 350 bar chamber pressure, generating 269 metric tons of thrust per engine. With 33 Raptors, the Starship Super Heavy Booster now achieves a mind-blowing 8,877 tons, 19.5 million pounds, of thrust. Beyond performance, Raptor 3's streamlined design and improved cooling systems have also reduced costs with SpaceX aiming to bring the price below $250,000 per engine. The ultimate goal? Supporting daily Starship launches with minimal refurbishment, a game-changer for spaceflight. And if history is any indication, this evolution isn't stopping anytime soon. The testing of Raptor engines, particularly in the context of SpaceX's Starship program, has encountered several significant challenges. One major issue is the simultaneous ignition and reliability of the engines. As coordinating and ensuring the consistent performance of 33 engines in a clustered configuration presents a substantial technical hurdle. Achieving uniform ignition across all engines is crucial for a stable launch, and even minor discrepancies in timing or performance can lead to severe imbalances. Despite advancements, Raptor engines have experienced reliability issues including instances where multiple engines have melted or exploded during static fire tests and flight attempts. The extreme conditions these engines operate under, including high combustion chamber pressures and cryogenic propellants, contribute to these difficulties. Additionally, ground testing presents its own set of problems, such as the limitations of testing vacuum-optimized nozzles in atmospheric conditions. This discrepancy can lead to flow separation and turbulence inside the nozzle, which may not accurately reflect their behavior in space. The design of test stands also plays a crucial role, as they may not fully replicate the dynamic conditions encountered during actual flight, making it difficult to predict certain performance aspects. Unforeseen issues, such as vibrations, thermal stresses, and interactions between multiple engines, might only become apparent during real test flights. Furthermore, the integration of the Raptor engines with the Starship and Super Heavy Booster introduces additional complexities, requiring extensive iterative testing and design refinements. Overall, these challenges highlight the immense complexity and innovation required in developing and testing advanced rocket engines like the Raptor. Despite setbacks, continuous improvements and data-driven refinements, are critical to achieving a reliable propulsion system capable of supporting SpaceX's ambitious goals for deep space exploration and interplanetary travel.